Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial on close focus wide angle, we're going to specifically talk about composition. Now, of course, with any image, certain rules of composition apply. Rule of thirds, texture, color, balance, things like this. However, there are certain aspects of uh, composition in close focus wide angle that I think should be particularly emphasized, such as balance, depth, dimension, and perspective. In addition, there is a lot going on with close focus wide angle. On the technical tutorial, uh, how to do it, we talked about overcoming issues with focus and getting a clear image in both the foreground and the background and proper exposure in the foreground and the background. But in addition to technically getting a good image, we have to get composition and we have to deal with composition of the subjects in the foreground and the background. Remember, unlike macro photography with close focus wide angle, there are more than one subject, sometimes multiple subjects. We have to look at the position, orientation, profile and appearance of these subjects, especially divers. We have to look at mergers of subjects with each other. It's always nice in general to have open space. And we have to look at distracting amputations like of a part of a arm or a fin of a fish or a diver you know we have to look at that as well but hopefully if one of is aware of these potential pitfalls and issues hopefully they can be avoided or at least minimized and do me a favor um, please download the outline uh, on close focus wide angle composition it's a free downloadable little PDF from my website theaquaticeye.com and let's check out a few examples thanks for tuning in uh, this is an example in close focus wide angle and composition where we get to see the subject in the context of its natural setting. Here's an octopus in the middle of changing colors from light blue to um, uh, brown. His head was brown, his body was still light blue. We see the octopus. I took this on a night dive with an SLR camera and two strobes and an 8-inch dome port and a fisheye lens. We see the octopus and the reef and not only that, we see my dive buddy in the background. Pretty cool. Uh, we get this forced perspective, an exaggeration of the size of foreground objects relative to the background. This confers additional depth and impact. Here's a southern stingray which looks enormous compared to my dive buddy just a few feet in the background because of this stretching of perspective. Here's a shot we can use a leading line. I use this mast on a wreck and sweepstakes in Tobermory. Uh, this mast which kind of leads us to the wreck in the, in the background and the mast also is kind of at a, at a di diagonal to add a little bit more attention and interest. Here's a leading line looking at a pillar under a dock uh, with beautiful orange color uh, in the foreground as it goes up toward the surface and through Snell's window we can see a portion of the dock in the sky. Here's an image on the Spiegel Grove. I took a shot of my wife and kind of framed it with a portion of the wreck and the beautiful coral surrounding a portion of the wreck in the foreground. Some of the problems, however, with composition that I alluded to, one is you have to be close enough. If, if you're not close enough, you're not going to get that image in the foreground to pop out. This barracuda was a couple feet ahead of my dive buddy, but I wasn't close enough and I don't get the size perspective difference. It's too far away. The image uh, doesn't work in my opinion. Uh, here the horizon's not level. I was trying to show the nice feather dusters on the coral in the foreground with my dive buddy in the background, but uh, the, the horizon is tilted. I can't really crop it or I'm going to crop out too much of the foreground. Uh, this image is just simply too cluttered, okay? Keep it simple. If a subject or object does not add to the image, try to leave it out. Here we have just too many divers, too much going on, and one diver merged with the turtle, blended in, quite distracting, not too good. Uh, here the fish, the beautiful tarpon, has no room to swim. He's swimming right off the frame. And my wife, although both are in focus and my wife is behind the tarpon, she's not looking at the tarpon. So this kind of looks like a disjointed image. It does not work, unfortunately. Here my wife is behind the tarpon, again, not quite, I mean behind the trumpet fish, not quite looking at the trumpet fish, and she has a vertical rather than horizontal profile, and her cam the camera is kind of behind and connected with the trumpet fish, uh, just too distracting in my opinion. Now here's a good diver profile of my dive buddy, very good profile, but unfortunately me, the photographer, I happened to snap, depress the shutter when he was exhaling bubbles, kind of distracting, too bad. 
Now this image had potential, beautiful turtle, well illuminated in the foreground. My wife a few feet behind it looked much smaller. I saw the under surface, but I could not position the camera properly to achieve separation. So my wife is blended with the head of the turtle, just doesn't quite work. Also, she's not really looking at the turtle. Here's an example of amputations. Uh, the spade fish in the foreground, I amputated a portion of its fins and tail, and I amputated the fin of my dive buddy. Uh, too bad. Here's one cool shot. It's nothing spectacular in terms of subject matter. It's simply a coral in the foreground with my dive buddy in the background. But this is one of my favorite pictures from my Roatan trip. I like the way the orange or yellow color of the coral is complementary to the blue water background. I love the way the curve of the coral is kind of complementary to a similar curve of the dive buddy. And uh, everything's in focus, good illumination, uh, not too complicated or cluttered. I actually really like that image. The diver's kind of in position in the rule of thirds. At any rate, I just wanted to show a few examples, both good and bad, of issues with composition and close focus wide angle. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please check out some of my subsequent tutorials showing critiques of some examples of my own images where I have had some problems with composition, especially in close focus wide angle. You know, diving is a blast, but unfortunately we have limited time and limited time during the year and time under, limited time underwater. So it's so important to try to get it right whenever we can. Thank you.